everybody. Today's a protein sparing modified fast day. Who went up? Who went down? Who stayed the same? You guys, we're going to share our way in. Yes, we are. And so much more. So come on, let's get this day started. Everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I noticed oh. that it's, uh, must be flu bog season. It is, it is. Yes. I broke yes. out my Kitchener's from the East End um, suite. You guys, Harry picked these out. These were the very second pair of Fluvogs I ever, ever bought several years ago. Yep. Now, story, Fluvog is disappointing me. The last season, two seasons, he's used clunky, weird heels back from the 60s, and he's making squared big toes, and I don't like the look of them. At all. I don't like the color scheme. I don't like the look of them. And that's sad because I love Fluvox. Maybe it's a good thing for me since I already have um, about 30, I think it's a great 34 thing. pair. Yeah. It will make I, you wear what you got. Yes. And the challenge is my Fluvox are all closed shoes and little booties like these uh, Kitchener's that I have on. So you have to wait until cooler weather because I can't wear closed shoes in 120 degree heat. 100 degree heat. My feet perspire too much. Anyway, enough about shoes, but I'm loving these. They're so cute, aren't they? They're green. I even got my little Fluvox socks on here. See? Got my little Fluvox socks to match. Yes, I do. Tuck that in. Super comfy cozy. I'm just a lot taller than Harry is right now. And you guys, I cleaned, and I'm talking cleaned and purged my two closets. Yes, I said two. And I tried on all the clothes and the clothes that no longer fit or the ones that were too big. No, no, when it's three. No, I said two. I, I purged two of the closets. Two. Where's the other one? Well, we share. Three. Well, yes, the other it's one. Right here. I know it's a coat closet, but I have a lot of coats. Anyway, anyway, I purged a lot because you guys, I'm back in mediums. I'm back in mediums, big time. Mediums or twelves, and um, the larges and fourteens were getting huge. So I purged them. Yes, I did. You're basically, if you think about it, you're changing the body shape. My shape. Because yes. when you were a little bit lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think you could put those on, could you? What, these jeans? Yeah. I put them all in the other room. And yeah, look, it's, they're starting to pucker a little bit. Yeah. You know, which is great. Getting the pucker butt. The pucker butt. They fit, you know, kind of loose. So I'm excited. They're comfy cozy, yeah. at least, right? Anyway, you guys, yeah, purging was fun, but you should see the hangers. Oh, my gosh. I have six large trash bags full, full a clothes and you can't even really tell in my closet that I even purged anything because everything was so compact but I'm getting there I'm getting there so that made me feel good yes it did so always trying on clothes that were in your closet that you moved because they they got too small for you putting them on and realizing wow they're too big for me now makes you feel really good at least it makes me feel good anyway you guys hey we had we got up early this morning we had just scrambled egg whites it's a protein spraying modified fast day we have to get out the door we've got to go to the post office i've got to go buy some some things for my grandkids that are out of state and get those all mailed off and everything else um I get them Visa gift cards because money works better for them at their age, trying to find sizes and all those things. So we're going to go do all the things. I want to go to Costco to look specifically at um, closet shelving and stuff like that. That's what we're going to go there. But we'll share as we go. Yes, we will. And then we're going to come home and cook dinner. And I know what I'm cooking for dinner. So we've got the day planned. So you guys... I've got to get the day. Oh, oh, Harry, we were so busy last night. He got my my medicine cabinet up in our 
bedroom bathroom. It looks beautiful, by the way. I'm waiting for some little compartments to go in there to put my makeup and all of those good things in. But it really looks nice, doesn't it, Harry? So yeah. all the bathrooms. Makeup organizer. Yes, but right here, if you look right here, we've got a tall, thin shelf that's going in this bathroom right here. I don't think does it show a picture on there. Uh, it does, but it's upside down. Oh yeah, it's kind it's of it's upside down, and it's very small, and it's a corner unit. Yeah, because it's not big. I didn't want nothing big in there. That's a half bath. The problem is, is we brought the mirror from my other bathroom into this bathroom. And we have no place to put it. We're like looking everywhere, and it's a nice mirror. Don't know where. Oh look, I can see my shoes. Yeah, it's mm. okay. I kind of like I it. I like it. We were gonna put it here, but we're afraid of the door. And then we're gonna put the corner counter. It's gonna go in there. We gotta rearrange the toilet paper and all that. So this is our next bathroom. But we got the lights up here. Come look at the lights. Did we share them this lights? Those are the lights that are also in our bedroom bath. Those are the ones that were too tall for the other bathroom. Yeah. So we're getting there, you guys. Oh my gosh, we are getting there. And then I'm rearranging where the lamps that were in this room are going into other rooms. And then we have to go to the very back room, Harry's room. And we've got to gut it and rearrange it. You mean it. the storage room right now? It is. It is. Ridiculous. It is. And I still have to clean my cupboard. So, you guys, it's a work in progress, but it feels really good. It feels good to purge and spring clean and get everything the way you want it, finally. Yes. Yes, indeed. So, you guys. One day, yes, everybody wants to see my flu vlog collection and everybody wants to see my boot collection and all those things. One day, I will... Bring it out and let everybody see oh, it. But trust you, me. I'm going to let you do it on your own. I, I'll I film have, it. I ain't touching nothing. I have so much. No way. So that's much. Gonna, that's going to take quite a while. Yeah. So, to do, man. yes, I know. So, anyway, you guys, just wanted to share, but I'm loving flu bog weather. Yes, indeed. But I don't like anything on the website right now. I, there's a few, but plus they've all gone up about $100. Yeah. That's the ice machine. Oh, <laughs> I know, I'm like, it's talking to us. Anyway, you guys, protein spray modified fast day. Yes, it is. We're sticking to it, but we've got to go out and about and get some things done because next week is the last week before Christmas. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about doing this uh, today is this is the, crowds. Much the last weekend. weekend. Well, no, Christmas is on Monday. Oh, okay. So next weekend, I don't want to go in it's any store. It's still going to be nutty today. Well, next weekend's going to be crazy. It's going to be so freaking crazy. Yeah, our PO, to get any of our stuff, the people are lined up out the door because it's a UPS store too. So, And it's an Amazon return store. They do everything there. They do... Um, um, pictures for your uh, passport. They do security stuff. They have a shredder. They do all that stuff so people are in line. Yes, it's a line. Anyway, you guys, uh, we're going to go. And if we got any mail, we'll share. We'll share as we go along the way. So see you, everybody, in the next segment. Hey, everybody. We are at Costco. We're checking stuff out. I have a don't show the basket. Because okay. it's a Christmas present and they may be watching, but I'm here for Christmas presents, gift cards, and different things like that than buying food for ourselves today. So I'm looking at all these gift cards to see um, what we can get. Weren't you supposed well, to get the light one? For the um, lights? No, Chalice bought the tickets. We're going to go to the Rawhide uh, light uh, show thing that they've got where you walk around. They've got all kinds of stuff there. And we're all going to go there on the 23rd at night. So that's going to be really fun to do. Um, but I want to look through all of this stuff and see which one I like. And we're going to look at and see if they have any Christmas trees left, Harry. Yep. Any flocked ones, because I want a flocked one. And I want it to have pine cones. So let's get started. I'm thirsty, you guys. It's almost 80 outside. This is the Soleil Blood Orange sparkling water. I love the Blood Orange. Really good. What I can show you what we bought at Costco because it's not a Christmas present. I got a couple more butters because I'm running low and I always want to have some and you can freeze it. It lasts forever in your refrigerator. 
Harry and I are going to Chalice and Dave's for Christmas morning breakfast. And then Christmas Eve, we're taking Felicia and Brad to Fogo de Chao, and we're having Christmas Eve dinner there. So at home, Christmas Day, Harry and I are going to have a little charcuterie. So I got the anti-pasta, anti-pasto platter from Annie. And we got Toscano salami and cured pepperoni, soap pressada or prasata salami and nostrano salami. If I didn't pronounce it right, don't come after me. That's fine. Salami, salami. With some salami. Pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> Cheese, please. Aged cheddar, Jarlsberg, creamy Havarti, and Dutch Gouda, you guys. So it's gonna be very Gouda at our house. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna have pork rinds and we're gonna have, I'm gonna make a loaf of bread and cut little squares out of them, which works really well. We needed batteries. We always need batteries and batteries are getting so expensive, you guys. Right sale. now, there's a $3 off on them. It was on sale. Got Harry a couple pairs of jeans, Lucky Brand and Levi Strauss Slim. So when they have his length, I get them so I got some I need some more storage units to put stuff in I have a ton of extra hangers now I buy the little velveteen covered ones I've got a ton of those because I purged two closets anyway so I've got to have something to store them in as I start um, refilling my closet yeah. maybe who knows but anyway got that now what we're going to do is we wanted to bring all this food stuff home because now we need to go to storage on the way we need to dry, drop off all of the clothing that we're donating to the white dove hospice they do the hospice of the valley where mom was um, so we like to donate stuff to the White Dove. So we're going by the White Dove, that's on the way to storage. We're taking some old paintings that I have and putting them in storage because I have different things now. So, and I have to look in storage to see if there's anything I can bring back with me. So we're gonna do that and we'll be back you guys and we'll share along the way. You guys, we're having spaghetti for dinner and it's gonna be protein spraying, modified fast, spaghetti. Yes it is. Spaghetti. We have, we have 90-10 ground bison. We have got skinny pasta noodles. Yes indeed, keto and paleo friendly. Now why would you use those instead of another kind of noodle, Wendy? I use these because they're made with konjac root and they are five carbs and five dietary fiber. So zero net carbs, no fat, well, no fat, no sugar, nothing. And I like the texture and the taste of these. So we're gonna have those. So let me get the beef, not the beef, the bison in. Super easy, super simple, you guys. We went shopping everywhere. Oh, yes, we did. Oh my gosh, it's been, it's crazy. Well, we forgot that it was Sunday, so we didn't get to go to the storage unit because it was closed already. They close at four. Oh, we didn't get to go to the post, our post box, because they close early on Sunday too. I totally forgot about those things. But I think I got move. I think I got everybody's everything now. And I think that um, at uh, Costco, uh, we were able to get the one gift I wanted to get. So that's exciting there. And we'll sh we shared the Costco stuff already. Um, yeah, we didn't show We brought home everything. No, we didn't because they don't get to see the gifts because our kids watch. Right. And they don't get to see. No, they do not. So anyway, I think, I think we're done. Unless there's a last minute something as I'm doing everything. I just need to take time to wrap everything. Get them all ready to go. Yes, indeed. So anyway, these come in a outer container and then the konjac noodle is inside here. All right. So what I do is we're gonna go over to this side of the sink. Look, so if you, you guys move, used to eat these things a long time ago, they were and they terrible. They smelled like fish and stuff. They don't do that anymore. No. It's totally different. I wouldn't eat them before. Now I like them. Yep. 
because they finally learned to put like acidic acid or uh, we used to use vinegar uh, wash. Yeah, and that used to take care of this, the problem. Yes, and that did. But now it's much easier. And I still haven't found my colander, Harry. I keep forgetting. I could order one on Amazon, I'm sure, but I think if we go to the dollar store, we can get one just as good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you guys, crazy stuff. My friend Gladys, Gladys O'Brien, she's a regular commenter, viewer, sent me a link about paper towels. Paper towels and carcinogens and formaldehyde that's in them. She said, Wendy, <laughs> you need to read this because you're wrapping your bread. So I have a plastic bread keeper right here. But I keep my bread on a paper towel and a paper towel to cover it so it doesn't get any plastic residue. Well, the paper towels are as bad as the plastic. If not worse. You guys, I'll, I'll try to remember to link, have Harry link that article down in the description below because, you know, you we want me use, to do what? Just link it in the description below so they can go and read it. Well, uh, I, what? You'll have to get it for me. I have. Harry, I'm going to give you the link so you can link it in the description below. You're right. But what upsets me is I use it to blow my nose if I have one. I wipe my face. We use it as napkins. I mean, come on, folks. Man paper. You know, well, in bit. case you're out in the woods and all you have is paper towels, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm just saying I cannot believe this whole article. So I went online to Amazon and I ordered myself a stainless steel bread container. I will share that with everybody when I get it because I am very upset. Gladys went out and ordered herself one too because you guys, it's getting crazy. We try to stay away from plastic so we drink out of our the canned things instead of we don't get plastic bottles of water except when we go with Arvita and we bought a smaller water uh, container uh, for her, right? And that we haven't gotten it's like that a yet. Berkey, except it's, it's uh, smaller. Through, it's through uh, four patriots. Four patriots. Yeah. So it's getting to the point where, oh my gosh, nothing is sacred, nothing is safe, nothing is fresh, free, and clear from things that can kill you. I mean, seriously, where, what is our FDA approval system? Well, I don't think we have wait one. Wait a minute. you got to understand the FDA. What is that? The FDA is ran by all the companies that put stuff out. And that's what I'm saying. I think they're that... Sub, they're subsidized by the company. I know. That, yeah, so... So a little bit won't hurt. You just can't overdo. We use paper towels for everything. That's our napkin. That's like everything. Oh my gosh. Clean with it, right? It's, it's just, it's getting to the point of ridiculousness. Anyway, enough ranting. I uh, got my noodles in a frying pan and what I'm doing is I turn them on high and just let them boil off the water and get opaque. And that's how I get my noodles. I've got my um, bison in this pan and I'm gonna put some garlic, zesty garlic, pluck seasoning, yes I am because I love pluck and what else I love about pluck is you get 100% grass-fed pasture beef organs in here that you cannot taste you get all the vitamins you guys you do oh, it's great stuff you I even know and it eating. tastes delicious yep. and it adds flavor to your meat everybody should be giving this to their kids and it has Redmond real salt so I love it I'm telling you I love it so anyway, I'm going to get this all ready. I have got Kirkland organic marinara sauce. Yes, I do. I mean, Sally's water bottle in her bag is a glass water bottle. Yep. Because we don't want her to even have plastic. Oh, I'm telling you, formaldehyde. It's because they use treated wood products. They just grind up all that stuff and make paper towels and toilet paper. Yes, out of. So I'm gonna, hopefully I can send that to Harry. He remembers to put it in the description. Remembers is the uh, Is the primary word. word. <laughs> yes. Yes. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna get my bowls. What are you making, Mom? Spaghetti. Oh, not sure what I know what spaghetti is. 
Now, I don't think you'd like the spaghetti, honey, but we'll get you something afterwards. How's that sound? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mom's got to get cooking. Can I try some? Mm, not this time, honey, because I put garlic and stuff in it. Garlic's not good for puppies. What's garlic? That's right. Hope you never know. We had a good day, but man, it got hot. It's almost 80 degrees outside, you guys. What do you do with the noodles? I'm drying them out. I'm. Uh, How taking, do you dry out noodles? You put them in a dry, hot pan, and the water that's attached to them is going to dry out. And then they're going to get a little bit opaque, and then they'll absorb the sauce better. Oh. Yeah. So I just put them on and let them, let them sit and evaporate the water. Let it steam off. Heat the noodle. Oh, we love healthy noodles. Costco, I guess it's a seasonal thing. How can noodles be seasonal? But theirs is, so there you have it. They don't have any. We like palmini, but palmini is a little bit tougher, uh, chewier noodle. And since Harry likes this, I think it works really, really well. And you feel full on these. And I hated them before. Yeah, you did because you hated that ammonia oh, that smell. smell. They had an ammonia terrible. fish smell. And we used to rinse ours in a little bit of white um, vinegar and water, and that helped. But it was just opening it up. And now these have been um, deodorized with acidic acid, which is just like vinegar, inside the package. So you just need to rinse them a little bit. And then cook. At least this brown, brand, this brand. If you go to an Asian market, you still need to be careful when you get the konjac root noodles because you may have to go through the rinsing process. But you want to look for the ones that are um, no smell ones. No stinky. No it, stinky, no stinky. No stinky smell. We had a good day, don't you think, Harry? Mm-hmm. Oh. Sorry you're gonna, getting a late start on this, dear. Mm. It was busy today. Costco was busy. We lucked out perfectly for a spot to pull into. Oh, wow. We lucked out. It was perfect because it was crazy traffic. And next week is going to be even worse. We, we lucked out. We were walking strong. And they jumped up on the cash register next to us and pulled us over. So we lucked out all the way around. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. But, yeah, it was very busy. You had to watch where you were going because uh, it was busy. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm going to stay in the house now until Christmas is over. <laughs> You're going to hibernate for yep, a week? I'm done. Hey, Sally had a good time. She got to walk, and she just enjoyed herself. Yep, she did. See, look, it's already, if you look at these noodles... See the steam coming off of them and see they're turning opaque? Oh, yeah. They don't have that gloss as much anymore. The gloss is the uh, water content. And I'm just going to turn those off because they'll just continue. And now I'm taking my organic marinara sauce. Uh, I almost dropped. Well, I did drop it, but it did not break. A big glass bottle at the cash register. Very embarrassing. Didn't break, though. Did not break. Thank they God. They got you a new one. Yes, they did. Thank goodness. In case there was a problem. Yes. In case there's an internal chip. Mm-hmm. Because my hands just went whoop. So we got to go to the P.O. box tomorrow, and we still have to go to storage. Yeah, we've got a lot to do in the morning, and we have an appointment coming tomorrow, too. We have a jacuzzi person coming to clean the pool, check the pool, uh, check all the stuff with the... Uh, we have a small jacuzzi out on the back porch, and it's jacuzzi season for us. So they're going to do all that. Yeah, and, we had um, a pool, and the kids were growing up. And yeah. I, well, and I had one when I was a kid, and I don't like them. A pool. It's a kidney-shaped gas uh, grass area out back. Yep, you from have the 50s a pool and there, 60s. and that is now gone. It's grass, but we have a jacuzzi, so we're getting it serviced, and they're gonna come and clean it and drain it, and they buff it and polish it and check. Um, we have one of those. Um, 
infrared light? No. no it's, a, it's a blue light. It, blue light that it kills all the kills the bacteria yeah. and all that stuff. So he's going to check it to make sure everything is good. So he's coming tomorrow at noon to do that. So yeah. Harry can't bend, lift, pull, or push to do all that stuff. So we have to hire somebody. Sounds good. This guy's, uh, I'll take it. <laughs> you'll take it. Okay, you guys, we'll come back. I'm going to let this marry a little bit and boil down just a little bit, get thick. So we'll come back when it's spaghetti. It looks beautiful. Come look at this. Doesn't that look delish, you guys? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yes. Look at that. Oh, oh. Don't be afraid now. Well, the noodles I dished up with the same, so it's got a little bit of redness to it. Mm -mm -mm. Keep going. Just move. This one's yours. Which one's mine? This one. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, that's all right. One more. Come on. One more. One more. Oh, there you go. Okay. One, maybe a little bit more. No. You have to have some left for what's left in the pan. Why? For, because. So I have leftovers. Right, show me the rule book. It's Wendy's rules. But Wendy's rules. You know Wendy's rules. <sighs> Don't touch this. It's hot here. I'll put this here. And we always put on a protein sparing modified fast day where we don't have cheese. We put nutritional yeast, you guys. And I heard one of the viewers said you can get Bragg's nutritional yeast in flavors now. Like zesty garlic and I don't know what other flavors. But that is really cool because we really like it. Don't we, Harry? Yep. And you can get your B vitamins from this. And potpourri. Potpourri. No, you can't. <laughs> Silly boy. Potpourri flavor. Yes. Mm. You Here, these are the B vitamins in Bragg's. This happens to be sprouts inside the Bragg's container. But can you see all that? You're I, getting your B vitamins. I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> well, the One of the thing. things you get is your vitamin B12, which is important. Potassium, thiamine, B1, B2, B3, B6, B9, and B12. Yes, indeed. Just to name a few. Anyway, you guys. This is our dinner, protein spray and modified fast spaghetti. Yes, indeed. And we are going to go eat now. So you guys, see you in the next segment. We are full. We have leftovers. It was delicious. It's filling too. You guys, tomorrow is a regular keto or carnivore day or low carb or anything in between. Yes, it is. And we are going to go ahead and close out. I've got some Christmas gifts to wrap. Yes, I do. So, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. Sally wants to say goodnight. I think you guys can hear her. Yes, indeed. What do you think, Sal? Can I say goodnight? Does that say goodnight? Goodnight! Do you want a beef organ blend, carnivore dog? Okay. On your mark. On your set. Go. <laughs> anyway, you guys, see you tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, you guys, have a great evening.